Hello guys, uh, welcome to our channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to analyze uh, our data on spaces by using uh, one-way ANOVA. Uh, when we have a one factorial experiment, a field experiment in this case, uh, we are going to analyze uh, our data by using uh, one-way ANOVA. So first of all, we are going to write our variables here uh, in name in the name list, uh, as you see. Uh, what I choose is uh, salt, which affect uh, plant heat in in my case. Uh, so uh, I took uh, this data from my agricultural experiment. Uh, so my uh, independent variable is salt in this case uh, with uh, four levels uh, uh, I just write zero here and then uh, zero stands for uh, 0 0.6 uh, level of salt this one 0 0.6 is uh, level of salt this one is uh, ID that I used so this is how I wrote uh, so after uh, writing for this uh, four levels I say okay uh, I'm done with uh, the uh, level of salt now so I choose uh, levels different uh, four different levels of salt as independent variable and I choose pH uh, the growing parameter in this case um, as uh, uh, the independent variable the dependent variable in my case uh, so after uh, adjusting uh, my uh, variable view, I go to data view uh, and I just write the salt levels here uh, as I told you the, the IDs uh, 0 for 0 0.6, 1 for uh, 2, 2 for 3 decimals per meter, 3 for 4.8 decimals per meter of uh, salt. Uh, this one uh, just uh, I will leave it because I am going to show you uh, one way ANOVA so, so that uh, I should have uh, one uh, factor, one independent factor, one independent uh, variable. So my dependent variable uh, is plant height uh, as a gross parameter. Uh, this is the replication. Uh, I mean, I have uh, three replications when I uh, do my uh, field experiment, agricultural uh, experiment. So uh, you can leave this one. I mean, you can reject this one. It's not a must to write uh, replication here because I'm going to. I'm, I'm not going to use this one. Uh, so after uh, writing my data here. What I do is that I go to analyze analyze tool uh, because I am going to analyze. I am I am uh, uh, starting to analyze. Uh, so uh, I go to compare mean. Then uh, I go to uh, one way ANOVA. I click this one. Uh, then I will uh, find this page. Then I will take my uh, dependent uh, variable, in this case plant height, to the uh, dependent list box. Then salt, which is my independent uh, factor, to the factor box. Then I go to option. I will adjust uh, something here. Uh, I will highlight descriptive uh, homo homogeneity of variable variance test and this uh, test is Brown and Welch test. Then I can click uh, means plot if I if I want to have uh, plots in my result uh, page. Then I will click continue. Then OK. Here I found my result page. So in my result page, uh, the first uh, table that we found is uh, we find is a descriptive uh, table, which shows the mean value of uh, pH. I mean uh, plant height, which is my, our dependent uh, variable in this case, 
and these lists are my depend independent variable uh, levels i mean in this case uh, salt levels this is the minimum salt level and this is this one is 4.8 is the maximum salt level then the, when you when you see the mean mean value of plant heads which is my uh, dependent variable in this case it goes uh, lower and lower when uh, the salt level increases uh, when you come to ANOVA I mean analysis of variance which is our main uh, I mean uh, very critical uh, table uh, from which we can write our uh, results and we can interpret you see the significance here so the f factor 32.482 is significant uh, i mean in this case uh, uh, the different levels of uh, four levels in this case uh, of salts affect the plant heat significantly i mean very highly significantly uh, it affected the plant heat uh, our dependent variable uh, so the, the we can make sure uh, also that the tests two different tests welch and brown tests also uh, uh, say in in this case that uh, the uh, our independent factor significantly affected uh, our dependent factor in this case plant aid. Uh, these are the t the tests we can uh, make sure that our result is uh, homogeneous so when we come to plots uh, i mean mean plots uh, it shows that the uh, salt level as the salt level increases the ph in our in this case uh, our dependent variable decreases i mean when salt increases uh, the plant heat uh, decreases uh, so that we can put also this uh, result in our uh, 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 result page uh, so that we can interpret uh, in uh, uh, many ways uh, as you want so guys this is what i have for today uh, if you enjoyed our uh, video uh, we, you can subscribe our channel uh, like or share uh, with your friends um, because we are going to do another uh, videos regarding uh, two factorial experiments and so on so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed uh, our video uh, so this is what i have for today uh, Bye, guys.